get home yet? Uh, yes, yeah, she went upstairs. Oh, went right up to her room, huh? That's bad. What do you mean? Papa, we're all gonna have to be especially nice to her. What happened? Just about the worst thing you can imagine. She flunked an exam? No, I'm talking about something really terrible. She lost her autograph picture of Ringo Starr? Papa. Well, what is it for Pete's sake? She wasn't invited to Monica Robinson's party. Oh. Well, I think she's strong enough to bear up under that. Papa, you don't understand. This isn't just a Saturday night get-together with hot dogs and soda pop. It's the whole bag. It's caviar and champagne. Caviar and champagne? Well, okay, pizza and punch. <laughs> but if you don't get invited, you're practically an untouchable. <laughs> Poor kid, she must really be shook up. Well, she didn't look particularly shook up. Uh, shook and... Uh, she didn't seem very upset. Papa, don't you recognize the Pagliacci bit when you see it? Laughing on the outside, crying on the inside. I'm going to go cheer up her insides. Mm. Will you yell when Richard comes? Only if I see him first. <laughs> Meet Kathy, who lived most everywhere. From Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. The ballet russe and crepe Suzette. Our patty loves to rock and roll. The hot dog makes her lose control. What a wild duet. Still the cousins. Identical cousins. Then you'll find. They laugh alike. They walk alike. At times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind. When cousins. I know how upset you are about not being invited to Monica's party. I'm not upset, Patty. I hardly know Monica. Cousin, this is your Aunt Patty. You don't have to pretend with me. I'm not pretending, and I'm not upset. Kathy, the very fact that you refuse to admit you're upset only proves how upset you are. Any psychiatrist will tell you that. Stop being silly. Okay. I just want you to know I'm not taking this lying down. Richard's over at Monica's now trying to swing it for you. Isn't that putting Richard in an awkward position? So what? He's been in an awkward position all his life. Besides, when I met Richard, he was going with Monica. So he can wrap her right around his little finger. Hey, Patty! There he is. I'll be right back. Hi. How'd you make out? No sweat. Monica said she'd love to have Kathy come over. Oh, that's great. Uh, there's, uh, uh, just one little complication, Patty. It seems when Monica invited me, there's, uh, um, uh, something I didn't realize. Yeah? Uh, well, you see, uh, she expects me to be her date. What? Yeah, now uh, that kind of puts me in an awkward position. Well, that's okay, Richard. I understand. You do? Really? Oh, sure. You go ahead to the dance and have a good time. Enjoy yourself. There's just one little thing I want you to do for me. Well, sure, Patty, what? Get out of here, you ankle biter, and never show your fangs around here again! <laughs> Uh, look, I'm sorry, Richard, but she won't come to the phone. I told her it was vitally important, but she said... <laughs> well, let me put it to you this way, Richard. I'm afraid you're involved in the Cold War, and you'd better think of this phone as the hotline. <laughs> now, I mean, use it only for something important, like World War III. <laughs> right. Goodbye. Martin, do you think I ought to go up and talk to her? She said she just wants to be alone. She didn't have any dinner. She's upstairs just moping around. I really think we ought to do something. Natalie, when the Greta Garbo virus strikes, you just have to give it time to wear off. But Martin... How you feeling, Patty? Fine. Would you like a sandwich, dear? No, thank you, Mom. I... Uh just came down for a glass of water. I'll get it. What's wrong with the upstairs water? Doesn't have an audience. 
Patty, before you slam the door. Who is it, Patty? Nobody. <laughs> what do you want, Richard Arnold? Richard Arnold? Benedict's brother. Patty, will you please open the door? I've got some great news for you. You're taking me to Monica's party? Well, no, but... <laughs> Patty, this is even better. Will you listen? I'm listening. What's the one thing you want more than anything else in the world? To go to Monica's party. No, I'm talking about a chance for you to sing with a band. A band? Well, uh, sort of a band. I know these guys and they've got a group and they're looking for a vocalist. And I've practically sold them on using you. Are you putting me on? I swear. Oh, Richard, that's absolutely boss. And then I can tell them you're interested in singing with them? Uh, sure, if they'll play at my party. Well, I'm sure they will. What party? The one I'm giving the same night as Monica's. With live music. I'll knock her right out of the box. <laughs> Ask the girls to turn that down. I could hear it a block away. I'm afraid that can't be turned down. Who are they? The Shin Dogs. I don't care what's ailing them. I just want to know who they are. <laughs> Hey, Guy, tell Patty we're ready for her now. Okay, Guy. <laughs> hey, Guy, they're ready for you. I know, Sally. I know you were invited to Monica's. But did you know that she's just having records and I'm having the shin dog? I'm their vocalist, you know. Well, the point is that if, if Monica expects you to make that big a sacrifice, what kind of a friend is she? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it's up to you. Bye, Sally. You can cross that one off, too, Kathy. Will you make the rest of the calls while I go down and rehearse with the group? All right, Patty, but it really doesn't seem much use. Well, keep at it anyway, okay? You know, that's what I like about you English. You never say die. <laughs> it's not only that I mind her having a party. I don't like her doing it to retaliate against Monica. I think we ought to do something. How about an anonymous call to the police? <laughs>
gosh, Patty, that was great. We're lucky to have you with us. Yeah, we're lucky to have fun. Welcome to the club. She's really great. Yeah, that was really outside. Patty. Couldn't get anybody? Wait a minute. Excuse me. Rich, Patty. Uh, Rich, I want you to call Monica and tell her that uh, I'm going to be very big about the whole thing. And if she's willing to merge her party with mine, I'm willing to throw in the live music. Patty, you found out which party we're going to play at? Uh, no, but uh, Richard should be here soon with the latest developments. I sure hope you guys don't mind playing up here, but my folks thought it'd give us a little more elbow room. Oh, no sweat. This is fine. Good. Did you talk to her? What'd she say? Oh, well, her reaction was generally very favorable. Generally? Well, as far as the group coming over, that's great with her. But she was kind of bugged about one thing. Me? Well, you gotta expect it, Patty, after the way you sabotaged her. I see. That means I'm wiped out. That kind of leaves us in a bind. What do we do now? Uh... I'll tell you what you're going to do, fellas. You're going to go to Monica's and play the best you know how. But, Patty... Well, don't you see, fellas? This is the break you've always been waiting for. I mean, everybody who's anybody will be at Monica's. Student council members, class officers, people who make decisions. I'll bet they even ask you to play at the prom. And then there'll be no stopping you. Nightclubs, movies, television. And when you're up there, fellas, I uh, just want you to remember the little girl in Brooklyn Heights who didn't want to stand in your way. But, but what about you? Me? Forget about me. I really don't count. I'll get along. We're going to do the only decent thing. You are? Yeah. We're going to go to Monica's and play the very best we know how. What's that funny sound? Silence. It's refreshing, isn't it? What a week. You know, Nat, sometimes that girl of ours does things that really renews my faith in parenthood. You mean like insisting the boys play without her? And telling Kathy to use her best dress and uh, telling her to go to the party and have a great time. And you should have heard her. She was so bright and cheery. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No. We were just talking about you. Oh? Patty, I know you've had a lot of disappointments this week, but I want you to know I'm very proud of the way you handle yourself. Oh, well, it's nothing. I mean, uh, what's a party, anyway? It's uh, not a matter of life or death, is it? That's my girl. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, Richard. Aren't you at the party? Well, I probably shouldn't tell you this because it'll upset you. Uh, but if I don't tell you, it might upset you even more. Will you stop being so mysterious? What is it? Well, there's an uncle of Monica's here at the party. And somebody told me he's owner of the Howard Record Company. You mean a company that makes records? What else? Oh, Richard, I I'll never forget you for this. Well, what are you going to do, Patty? Uh, never mind. Just put Kathy on the phone. <laughs> some fresh air. See you later. Oh, wait a minute. What have you got on under there? Oh, just something I threw on. Patty, you're not really going to that party, are you? I have to, Pablo. It's a matter of life and death. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Because I sure don't. <laughs> Here. 
her, too. Why, I was just making a telephone call, Monica. To another girl, I suppose. Not unless you consider my mother a girl. <laughs> How about going out to my car? It's air conditioned. No, thank you. I don't like dancing in cars. My, but it's suddenly gotten chilly, hasn't it? It has? Yes. Uh, would you mind getting me my sweater? I've got a heater in my car. With long sleeves? Thank you. Her uncle's still here. Hurry up. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know how to thank you for this. That's all right, Pat. Kathy! Here I am. Got your sweater. Oh, thank you. Uh, would you be a dear and get me a cold drink? I thought you were chilly. It just warmed up. <laughs> oh, Kathy! Oh, Monica! My, that's a lovely dress. Thanks. But you said that before. I did? Well, you know the old saying, hear a compliment twice, you'll know it's nice. I never heard that. Of course you did. I just told it to you. Excuse me, there's someone I'm dying to oh, meet. Kathy, I want you to meet my uncle. That's who I'm dying to meet. He just flipped when I told him you were English. Uncle Howard. Yes? This is the girl I was telling you about, <laughs> who's from England. How do you do? It's a great pleasure indeed. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Uh, what part of England are you from? Uh, do you know London very well? Know it. I spent three years there. Is that where you live? Uh, no, but it's a great place to visit. Uh, uh, yes. What city are you from? Uh, Wickendham Cricket on Clough, but we call it Whiff. Clough? I don't seem to recall any river by that name. Oh, well, uh, perhaps that's because it uh, dried up many years ago during the drought. Drought? In England? Of course. That's what caused the potato famine. Oh, that was in Ireland. Oh, well, it uh, spread to England during the Middle Ages. Really? Of course. Thus the expression, Middle Age spread. What? Excuse me, I promised this dance to someone. Richard, there's something funny going on around here. Where? Well, I like a good laugh. A piece of pizza? No, thank you. Hey, Monica, is the uh, Howard Record Company a big outfit? It's listed on the stock exchange. No kidding. Mm -hmm. oh, I just asked because I haven't seen any of their records. Records? My uncle's in the hot dog business. Well, I... Everybody makes that mistake because his name is Howard Record. Howard Record? Holy moly! Uh, excuse me, Monica. I have to talk to Patty. What? I mean, uh, Kathy, about Patty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pride that we present the debut of our new vocalist, Miss Kathy Lane. I've got a neighbor, he's a nice young man, lives just across the way. And every morning when he goes to work, you can hear him say, Oh, in a radiator. I'm a right, so man, I'm Henry. Henry, the ice I am. 
isn't it? How are you? Well, I'm going to put her away. You've got your nerve, Patty. Oh, well, then, Martha, you're wrong. I'm Kathy. Oh, yeah? So when did you go home and change your dress? I just had to come and tell you how much I enjoyed that. You're very good. Oh, thank you. Will you please leave? Oh, will you please flake off? I'm trying to talk to your uncle. I do have to run along, but before I do, I, I was wondering, is there any chance that you could use us? We work very cheap. Uh, I beg your pardon? Well, uh, the Howard Record Company has always been one of my favorites, and we'd love to work for you. Well, I'm a little confused. Why would you want to work for my company? Oh, <laughs> let's face it. Every singer likes to make records. Oh, what? <laughs> records? You mean you thought? <sighs> Patty, let me present my uncle, Mr. Howard Record of the Howard Record Company. He makes hot dogs. <laughs> Dogs? Oh, the best. Oh, wait till I tell the gang about this. They'll die laughing. Uh, uh, now, wait, wait a minute, Patty. You got to remember, I went way out on a limb for you. Richard, do me a favor. The next time you decide to go out on a limb, just keep right on going. Well, let me know what comes up. Right. Oh, good morning, Patty. Good morning, Papa. Say, uh, do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you. Okay. In here or in the den? What's the difference? Oh, I just want to know if it's going to be a long or a short lecture. <laughs> it isn't going to be a lecture, hon. It's just going to be a chat. Oh. Let's sit down. If it's just a chat, can I stand up? Sit down. It's a lecture. <laughs> Now, in the first place... <laughs> All right. What I want to say is this. All of us have to learn in life that, that we have to conserve our energy to save it for the things that are really important instead of wasting it on every little crisis that comes along. You mean Monica's party? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm referring to. Now, let's just take a look at what happened to you. All of the pain and the disappointment you went through. In the first place, you tried to organize your own party. And then you spent all of that time rehearsing with the boys. And then you finally went to the party, even though you didn't have a, an invitation. And you embarrassed yourself in front of all your friends. Now, what did all of that expenditure of energy lead to? Not a thing. I hate to contradict you, Papa. But you're wrong. All my energy wasn't wasted. Monica's uncle flipped over me. Well, that's nice, but what of it? What of it? Look what he gave me. Howard Record Company. No, the other side. This entitles the bear to a hot dog at half price at any Howard Record shop. <laughs> okay. 